Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. One thing I like to do with Obsidian is to keep track of my habits. And one of the best ways to do this is by using a heatmap graph. I've always used a community plugin called a heatmap calendar, but it might be a bit difficult to use for people who don't know how to write data Vue.js queries. Today I want to introduce you to another plugin that allows you to create a beautiful interactive heatmaps without writing a single line of code. Contribution graph. But before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's get started. First of all, we have to install the plugin. So go to Settings, Community Plugin, Browse, and search for Contribution Graph. Install. And Enable. To get started, you'll need to install an additional plugin called DataView. If you are unfamiliar with DataView, I've previously released an introductory video about it. I will leave the link in the description down below. Now, let's create a new node and call it Habit Tracker. To create a heat map, you just need to open the command palette with command P or control P and search for contribution graph add heat map and press enter. As you can see, the interface is simple and intuitive. Inside the first tab, you can customize some basic settings. First of all, the title. Let's say that I want to create a heat map to see how many nodes I created. I can name it Nodes Count. And here I can choose the alignment, for example, centered. Here I can customize the graph type. And I can choose between Git style, month track, or calendar. I can set the date range by choosing between different options. Let's say I want to see the last 90 days, so I choose latest days, and here I insert the number of the days. Now I need to select the source. I can use pages or tasks, for instance if I want to know how many tasks I completed. In this example, since I want to retrieve all the nodes I created in the last 90 days, I select page, and here I don't insert any tag or folder since I want to query every node from my entire vault. Inside the date field, I need to specify the field from which the plugin should extract the date. In this case, I can leave it as file create time. The same for the date field format. I could specify a format, but in this case, I am okay with the auto detect. Lastly, I leave the count field as default since I don't need to use any specific page property. Let's click on save, and here we go. It already looks good, but we can improve it. To edit the heat map, you can simply click here on the top right, and let's open the style settings tab. You can modify the font size of the title. You can enable this option here if you want your heat map to fill the screen. You can modify the start of the week, I personally set to Monday. You can change the background color and enable some shadows around the heat map. The shape of the cells, for example, let's change it to circle, and their size. Lastly, you can modify the style rules of the cells by selecting one of the predefined themes or creating your personal rules. Let's click on save. And now the heat map have a new look. If I click on a day, I can see that on this day I created these nodes here and each one of them can be opened by clicking on its corresponding link. Let's create another heat map. Here in my daily notes I have a checkbox property to monitor my walking habits and I want to visualize these outcomes via a heat map. Open the command palette and search for contribution graph add heat map and hit enter. I name it walk and this time I want to use a calendar graph. In this case I set the date range as latest wall year and here I insert one since I want to see only the outcomes from the current year. As search I choose page and I want to query all the nodes with the tag daily note. As date field, I can use the file name and auto detect for the date field format. 
since every daily note is titled using the date format year, month, day. Lastly, I want to set the walked property as count field and click on save. Look how beautiful it is, but if you want to personalize it even more, you can do something like this. For example, you can increase the size of the cells. Let's set it to 17. And create a new rule. You can change the color to white and use an emoji like this one here. Click on save. And now it's even better. And that's all for today. Creating heat maps has never been easier. And now keeping track of your habits in Obsidian will be a breeze. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon, and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM, and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.